Hi friends, welcome to Electrical and Instrument Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how contactor works. So friends, uh, this is the contactor. I have uh, completely opened up. Uh, now let's understand each part of this contactor. This is the coil of the contactor. You can see. It is made up of a copper conductor. It is little bit damaged. As you can see the blackish portion. This is A1, this is A2. We can give at one side A1 live supply. And this is the written path A2. You can either say negative or uh, the written path of the coil. This is the fixed magnetic bar. It is made up of a uh, laminated course. <clears throat> this is the moving magnetic bar and and these are the main moving contacts. These are auxiliary moving contacts. this you can see these are the fixed main contacts this is the three phase contact so we have three fixed main contacts and these are the fixed auxiliary contacts you can see the terminals here we have to give the here to we have to fix up the conductor and you can tighten it like this this is the one part outgoing part and uh, this is the incoming part here also we have a fixed three main contacts and fixed auxiliary contacts you can see here okay and this is the incoming portion here we can give incoming supply to the contactor up to here we are getting three phase supply this is a three phase contactor so we'll discuss about three phase up to here we are going to get the three phase supply now let's check how it works this fixed magnetic bar the coil is being placed on this fixed magnetic bar like this okay now this is the spring We can, uh, this is placed on it like this. So when the coil is provided the supply due to electromagnetic force being created by the coil together with the fixed magnetic bars, it pulls this moving magnetic bar towards it like this. Because of that, this moving contacts get in touch with this fixed contacts, fixed main contacts. The arrangement, the complete arrangement is like this. Similarly here at the incoming side, in this way. Okay. So in energized condition, it pulls like this. So making sure that all these fixed contacts get in touch with the main contacts. So there would be a voltage flow from incoming to the outgoing. You can get uh, the, uh, the voltage at the outgoing side. Now let's understand why the spring is provided. This is the return spring. We call it as a return as the name suggests. Return spring means in de-energized condition when the voltage gets back from the coil, the electromagnetic force will get removed. So due to the force of this spring, it pulls, uh, it get back this moving contact into its original position. That's why this written spring is provided. Now you can see the small springs here in all these five contacts. These springs are known as leaf spring. The leaf spring, these springs are provided to avoid the bounce back condition of the contacts. 
in case of energized condition okay now this is this black color this this black color we call it as a rubber pads the rubber pads are provided to absorb the vibration during energized condition so this is how the complete arrangement of the contactor if uh, i can fix it I'm trying to get it fixed in this way this is uh, like this and uh, this is like this so this is the complete arrangement of the contactor okay so this is how the contactor works thanks for watching this video subscribe to more subscribe for more upcoming videos on electrical and instrument engineering channel hit on the like if you like this video thank you very much